Alright, what's up guys, and welcome back to part two of Gaming History 101's Retro Game Night, our video show. And in honor of our Sonic podcast, for section two, we're going to be doing Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Only released in uh, Europe on the Master System, and released over here on the Game Gear. Um, you can now pick up Sonic the Hedgehog 2, the Master System version, though, uh, on the, uh, the virtual console for the Wii. And I think it's also on the 3DS Virtual Console now. So, as you can see, uh, Sonic 2 is a little faster paced. It's a little bit better optimized. But as we said on the podcast and I've talked about in the Sonic 1 portion of our uh, video show tonight, um, one interesting thing is uh, it's nothing like the original game. So... Including mines. Mine carts. I think because I missed that mine cart, though, I'm gonna be in trouble. Guess not. Here we go. Definitely not going to get a bonus level out of that, though. I just still think it's very cool that uh, these games are completely new developments uh, versus the uh, Genesis Mega Drive counterparts. And solid titles in their own right. Of how because I got over a hundred rings in the extra life, I'm prevented from the bonus stage. Like you're almost too good, but like not in that cocky way. Really? So, I just die, huh? Nice. Robotnik saves me just to take me on, because that's the kind of guy he is. Ah, oh, it's the crab boss. Definitely harder games, especially if you don't know what you're doing, like me. I played these games on the Game Gear, but that was ages ago.
<laughs> Interesting. It like shakes the animals out. Sky high, hang gliding. No! Let go of the hand glider. Cool. I don't die because I just am that cool. Hey, I'll take it. Any any chance to get a second chance without dying is fine by me. How do you do it? I don't understand the hand glider. Maybe this is why nobody <laughs> played this. Who knows? Okay, so don't push jump because that kills you. Or that lets go of it, but what else am I supposed to do? Supposed to push backwards at the right moment, though, like hand glider style, which is, of course, goofy. Of course, this is probably the end of the level. Yeah, so, no bonus sta stage again because I got my hundred rings. Just standing on clouds, like you do. God. I have no idea how that hand glider works. Like... I have a fool's idea, but I don't think it's right. Oh, more rings. This is the end of the level. I'm never going to get a bonus stage in this game. <laughs> 
So those of you who are taking bets right now, I can promise you it's not going to happen. That boss was pretty easy. I guess the one hard part would be if you ricocheted off the head and it sent you right into the bullet that it was firing. I guess some people... I, I could see how that would be a problem. There's like a current. Of course. Here's where I die. <laughs> Nowhere near as nerve wracking as the underwater sounds. Wow, that made it easy. I like that. Cute, dude. I just want to see what a secret level looks like. <laughs> I'm never going to see what a secret level looks like, am I? <laughs> Gave me a pity ten rings.
Okay, so you guys can't tell while I'm playing, but there's like a current that keeps swaying, sending me in other directions, which is weird. Bubbles. I see how this works. Come on. Don't be that way. <laughs> Alright, whatever. I'll take what I can get. So weird. I guess I've got to navigate myself back and forth without touching a wall. see the problem there. Yeah. With this one I gotta move over too. Ah! Oh, come on! Freaking A. That was it? That was what all the hustle and bustle was for?
damn it. <laughs> wow. If it waits till I... And still no bonus stage. <laughs> but I'll see your bonus stage and raise you a bonus level. Er, a boss battle. sure where the challenge comes in here. Found a trick to you. Makes you pretty easy. Plural. 
One thing I will say, although you probably have to know where they are, I have not found a single Chaos Emerald. And I used to know where they were. I remember talking to friends about that in the game year. I knew where at least some of them were. Five more. Oh, well, now it doesn't matter. Now I want as many as I can get my hands on. Because no bonus stage for me. <laughs> trying for that bonus stage. It's not happening. It's not happening for you guy. Yeah, 20 coins. This entire level is all about like, oh, you can fall on spikes, you can fall on spikes, yep, you fell on spikes, haha. -ha. Come on. That time the jump button, I can where I pushed it, uh, who knows if it counted or not, or if I was just going crazy. lives down significantly. The boss is right over that ridge, too. <laughs> it's 
So I should just run, not jump, but not slow down. I think is the trick there. I give up. <laughs> you get two more lives out of me and then I give up. It's hard to argue that there is like skill involved in this though. Like you see? You see where that argument's coming from? Okay, guys. I think we'll call this. All right, coming up next in our extravaganza is the third 8-bit version of Sonic, which is Sonic Chaos. So we'll see you for part three. Of how because I got a, over a hundred rings in the extra life. I'm prevent. One interesting thing is uh, it's nothing like the original game. So. Including mines, mine carts. I think because I missed that minecart, though, I'm gonna be in trouble. Guess not. Here we go. Definitely not gonna get a bonus level out of that, though. Entered from the bonus stage, like, you're almost too good, but, like, not in that cocky way. Really? So, I just die, huh? Alright, what's up guys, and welcome back to part two of Gaming History 101's Retro Game Night, our video show. And in honor of our Sonic podcast, for section two, we're going to be doing Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Only released in uh, Europe on the Master System, and released over here on the Game Gear. Um, you can now pick up Sonic the Hedgehog 2, the Master System version though, uh, on the, uh, the virtual console for the Wii. And I think it's also on the 3DS Virtual Console now. So, as you can see, uh, Sonic 2 is a little faster pace. It's a little better optimized. But as we said on the podcast, and I've talked about 
in the Sonic 1 portion of our uh, video show tonight. Um, I just still think it's very cool that uh, these games are completely new developments uh, versus the uh, Genesis Mega Drive counterparts. And solid titles in their own right. <laughs> 